are watching West Harper Community West Television. Television. You're watching West Harper Community Television. You're watching West Harper Community Television. For the community, by the community. focus on the creative dreams because I'm, I'm an actor, but there are so many different types of goals and dreams are passions. And one is also a passion of mine tonight. I'm so excited because it's my first like forensic, uh, forensic files. I'm a total investigative discovery channel addict. Might as well admit it. My, my kids call it murder porn, <laughs> but I cannot get enough of forensic and mysteries. So that is my theme tonight. So are you guys ready? And camera's rolling. So this is Robert, and I think you can see it, Siglimpaglia. Very I good. said it right, Robert Siglimpaglia. And we will be putting on screen what, what his website is and how you can look him up. Do you want to say it right now, how, how people can find sure. you? Yeah, you uh, robpaglia.com is one way, or robsigesq.com, that's my legal and, and, and spell your last name again? S C I G L I M P A G L I A. So it's Siglin Pogli, so it's like a silent S. Right. Okay. And the name of the show is Justice Delayed. Correct. And you are a Stanford native. I am. Yes. And I read about this show. The cases are so great. <laughs> These cold cases and their connections to the mob and the pilot, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It, it blew me away, and I love that stuff because, um, you know, there's uh, there's no um, expiration date on when you can find who does the murder. So it, it's never too late to get the justice. Statute of limitations. Correct. Statute of limitations. Yes. That was it. I had a I had a brain a brain flip, but yes, and hence the name of your show, Justice Delayed. Correct. So now you are a lawyer. Now tell me how you got into all this, and I know that. Mm -hmm. Um, there's the, the narration um, of the pilot, or is it his narration or just the, the clips? Your, um, your detective's name is Vic? The private investigator. The private yes. investigator. Vito. 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 Yes. What, what's his last name? Colucci. Vito Colucci. Yes, yeah, very exactly. Italian. Right. <laughs> very Italian. So, and you, have you been childhood friends with him or you've known him for years? Or? I've known him for over 20 years. Okay. He and, he and I, well, we both grew up in Stanford. Okay. He and I uh, coached the uh, local Babe Ruth League, and that's how I Isn't met that him. Isn't cute? And then, then he was a private investigator, so and I was a lo I'm a lawyer, so we did and work what, together. And what, what kind of law do you practice? Uh, right now, I'm a workers' comp expert, mm -hmm. so I'm a um, certified specialist by the Connecticut Bar Association. That's what I do mostly. Right. But I do, I'm a general practitioner, so I do, I've done pretty much every type of law. Right, but, but have you have you ever had criminal lawyer cases? Oh, that, yeah. So yep. is that what has intrigued you the most, why you are getting into it now, or? Well, the show the show is about, it's about the victims. Right, so of course. I rep, you know, as a workers' comp lawyer, that's what I represent victims, people right. that get hurt. Right. I also do personal injury law, so it's the same thing, people that get hurt. So that was how I had the idea. And basically, my role in criminal now, because I don't, I don't do criminal defense anymore. I used mm -hmm. to when I first mm -hmm. started to practice. Now I represent victims in criminal court. Right. So that's 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 my role. So uh, that that sparked and, the idea. Oh, and it's such an important voice because they get lost. Exactly. So I wanted yeah. the show to concentrate on the victims' point of view. So that's what the show. That's where right. the show came came from. So. Yeah, because people wonder. I, you know, it's. It's just sad. I mean, even now, especially with the shootings and, you know, when the when the murder happens, like, like, I think 
Connecticut's 911 is the is the Pettit murder, you know, uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Yep. Pettit. Yep. And it was so horrible. It's all people. People were just, it's this like surreal, just nauseous feeling. But then time goes on and on. And because we're so removed from it, we can think back and go, oh, yeah, that was bad next. But we forget that these people, these victims. Correct. Right. Every day. Right. Especially victims that don't have closure. Don't, don't have closure, right. Right. The, the crime's not solved. Um, whatever. And so. especially murder when they're, when they're taken away. Right. Yeah. The family, especially. That's horrible. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Yeah. So that, that's what the show centered around there, telling them, telling their story. Oh, so it's, so, so it's through their point of view? Correct. The victims? Oh, it's wonderful. The victim's point of view. And the, the other uh, big aspect of the show is the private investigator part, Mito Colucci. Um, because Vito basically, Colucci. I, I'm sorry, I just, yeah. I just still love that name. <laughs> it's a great name. Vito Colucci. Because okay. a, lo a lot of times what happens in these cases, and a lot of times in a, a, many criminal cases, not even on, on ones that aren't solved. Right. Uh, the, the family will come to an attorney and the attorney will hire a private investigator for the family. Right. And then the private investigator does, can do a lot of different things that the police can't do. Right. And then they kind of coordinate and present the evidence to the police or to the DA and then, or the state's attorney here in Connecticut. Right. And then that's how, you know, the case may move and get resolved. So right. the show focuses on that, that part of it, that part right. that's not seen really. Right. It's the inside part where it's the family, you know, the, the attorney, and then they're, they're all doing behind the scenes stuff. Right. So that, that's what I wanted the show. Yeah. To sh also illustrate how, how that whole process works. Yeah, yeah, because so. people don't know. You know, one of the things that I'm, I've been intrigued about when I, when I look at cold case files, and especially, do you want, do you want to talk about the first e sure. episode? Or, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I'm, I'm just going to paraphrase what I remember reading, but you said that, um, that Vic. Vito. Damn it. I keep saying <laughs> Vic. Vic. Vito. <laughs> Um, edit that out, please. Okay. <laughs> Vito, <laughs> that Vito was um, a cop. Correct. During that time. Correct. When, and it happened in the 70s? When? Yes, in the 70s, 73. 73. The Polici uh, murder. So that, that's a big. It's a big thing. Big so it was yes. a son kidnapped. Uh, yep, he was kidnapped. Well, that's, that's the theory that he was kidnapped uh, because he knew, he knew his he supposedly knew his the people that that did the crime that kidnapped right. him and murdered him. So there's the debate as to whether or not he went voluntarily with them or that he was actually right. kidnapped. Um, you know, but then he was murdered and thrown in the woods. And how how long did they have him before he was murdered? <sighs> Hard to tell. Day maybe two days. Oh, yeah. Okay. He was, he was found pretty quickly after after oh, you know the, the, he was quite missing. But um, and then what happened was. Unbeknownst to him, to Vito, was that the his boss was crooked, dirty, what have you. Right. Yeah. And he right. got in trouble later because he was hooked up with the Gambino family of all things. Right. The, the, so yeah, yeah the, so the when chief. they yeah. when they got really close to solving this, or they had solved it really, um, and they and they had their their evidence back then which is so important because it's so timely to get all that going he just squashed it their their boss squashes just was, right that's that's the one of the that's theories the like it, it, it's it's hard it, it's hard to say that i mean basically what happened was the, the 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 crooked chief took the case over and then that was the end of it and and that was the so, end of it yeah like so. the evidence the the problem with the other problem with this case is that it happens the, the murder apparently happened in Connecticut, but the body was discovered in Westchester, New York. So there was two states involved. So Westchester didn't want really anything to do with it. So they're the ones that had a lot of the evidence, and they still have it, actually. Right. And because of the show, we were able to go um, to the state's attorney who reopened the case and put a $50,000 reward on it. And now they're getting the evidence back from Westchester. Right. So, you know, we'll see what's there uh, so that the investigators can maybe do DNA or whatever. But, right. But that was the problem. Like, it was the evidence was in New York and Connecticut. You know, they, they were the ones trying to lead the investigation. But, you know, they, it was hard because they didn't have a lot, of, a lot of the evidence. Right. So basically what happened was when the chief took it over, the, the case kind of just died. 
So I guess they didn't pursue trying to get the evidence from Westchester or whatever, because you know the theory is that he was crooked. Right. So because later on he was he was fact, crooked. Yeah. Right. Put put on trial and he passed away before his, his trial. So. But but he, but he did pass away from cancer. From so cancer. so kind of right. things you <laughs> yeah. and I'm like well karma okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know karma. I hate saying that but, <laughs> um, but like another thing that um, when I was reading about this is what what I can picture is there's all that bureaucracy, all the paper pushing, all mm -hmm. the egos involved. Right. That really, and, as, and for you speaking to the victims, the victims don't give a hoot about any of that. Right, exactly. And, and you would think that these people who, who are dedicated to justice would be in more of a hurry, but so many things get in the way. Yeah, I mean, the system is yeah. the system, and, yeah. and, and that's the problem, that's one of the problems with representing victims is that they don't understand they, they don't care. they not they that don't, they don't care but they 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 just want to get closure and they want they want it resolved right, so right so they don't care what has to happen to, to get <laughs> right that. right but you know that that's a lot of times where my, where I come in and I can I can help explain you know the system to them and, and try to you know keep things in check and try to try to move things forward right so that um, they do get their their justice right. but it may be justice delayed you know that that's the that's the point. It, may, right. it, may not, it does take time, unless it's an open and shut case. You know, like today where there's DNA evidence and things like that. Oh, you that's know, so great with the DNA. Those now. are kind of open and shut. Those are yeah. those are easy, much easier cases. But when there's circumstantial evidence and you're interviewing witnesses and you know stranger murders, you know when, those oh, are the those. hardest ones. You yeah, know, I so. was so I was so glad that they found the one with, um the the other cop whose daughter was killed, the jogger. Right. I was so glad they found that was a stranger murder. Yep. I mean exactly. that was wonderful. That was wonderful work. Yes, absolutely. So 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 tell me about some of the other cold cases that interest you that you're um, that you're doing for justice delayed. Well, what we're going to do uh, and the reason why the show, I hope, is well. I, I, or we already have a lot of interest in the show. Obviously, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we have networks. And I'm like so. foaming at the mouth. So. <laughs> um, what we're gonna do though is we're gonna try to concentrate on cases that um, either Vito or myself had some kind of connection with. So what cases that we worked on, cases that uh, you know we represented the family on, something, right. something you know tying us to the community. Right. Right. Um, so there's there's um, a couple of cases that Vito had worked on that we're definitely going to going to feature. Um, the bra murders in Stanford. I don't, I don't know the bra murders. <laughs> so you know, I'm not I'm not from Connecticut originally, so so I didn't I, I didn't know about the wood chipper murders the, until Fargo came out. Yep. So, so okay. <laughs> well the bra bra murders are the kind, murders. kind of the same. But basically the the uh, perpetrator would strangle his victims with their bras. And then that's how you would find them. And, and how many it, victims? I'm not sure. There's, there's a too many. Yeah, a few but yeah, and young girls, I. And then he would leave like a playing card on on them, so he would like leave a clue behind. So that's one that Vito worked on. I think that was solved though. So that one, but that one, if it is a solved case, we're still going to tell the story through the victims. Oh, good, good, good. Thank so, God though, because so you, even if it's solved, right, like, you could still we'll be able to do it. And so. you will explain. How it's still justice, even if it's justice delayed for the victims. Exactly. Right. No, no matter how much time it takes. Exactly. That's what you're saying. Because okay. what, what we'll do is that at the end of the show, basically it'll be at the beginning of the show, the victims will come in to the attorney's office, tell the story. The second phase of the show will be me, the attorney, calling Vito, the private investigator, right. hiring them. Third phase of the show is him going out and actually doing the investigation. So we could recreate those if it's already resolved. Right. Or if it's not resolved, they'll, you know, we'll do it do it on the spot and then the final phase of the show is resolving what you're doing with all that evidence so either mm -hmm. you're bringing it you're either you know going to trial with it or you're bringing it to the state's attorney or the police or, or whatever that that will that's how the show will wind up right so that's, right. that's the pattern of each of the shows so it, they can be solved cases that are interesting like the bra murder case yes. or they can be cold cases like the Pleachy right. murder case. Right. We're hoping to get get resolved. And you and you and you you're, you're, you're going to look into the the nationally infamous case the Martha Moxley yes. as well, well right? Martha yeah. Moxley um, Vito investigated that one. Oh, he did. He was the investigator on that case. So that's why that's the connection. Oh. Wow, well, cuz so. I remember I I watched that one at went back to trial and everything. Yep, he's, yeah. he's the one that did the investigation to get oh, it to go. that's exciting. Know, to go back to trial. He yeah. did a lot of those interviews. So that's that's the connection there. Right. So the cases that he 
he or I worked on will be the cases that we'll, we'll feature right. on the show. Um, okay. There's another, one, there's another one, too, that is not resolved in Norwalk. Um, I forget the name of the, the, the victim. I don't want to mention it anyway. But yeah. it, was just, it was a girl who was found murdered um, kept walking, walking home from school. You know, back in the 70s or 80s. It was Those are heartbreakers. And not resolved. So that's one that Vito had expressed an interest in possibly right. resurrecting like the Polici, Polici case. Right. So. Well, let me, let me ask you, because I know this is all very exciting to me and people love to do the, the, the ID channels doing well. Yes. You know, and where, where would you like people to see your show? Now, what, what are the, the possible venues that you're looking into? And if they mm -hmm. click on your site, can they watch the show or? Not yet. Cause Not yet. This, we produced the pilot um, back in March. Okay. So it's already shot. It's being edited now. Okay. And we have a sales agent who, we have several networks that are interested in this. Okay, gotcha. So now we're on basically on the negotiation phase so right. that it will be it, it, should, it will be something it yes. will be out so like we have we definitely have interest right so and, and a few like id that's one of them yeah of them. i mean yeah because they have they have so many different shows now yes. I, I can't keep up with them exactly. wives with knives oh you know <laughs> so we don't know where it's actually going to end up but you know we're, we're it will end up in hopefully if everybody right. goes right on on a cable network and you know hopefully in the fall we'll be able to Wonderful. We're, we're going to shoot our, we have 10 episodes lined up. Already. Oh, I'm really excited to watch and we're, it. We're actually, it's actually good that there's a little delay now because we want to solve the Polici case. Like that's, we want that to yes. get solved. And they are getting the evidence back. If they haven't, they may have already gotten it, but it was in the process of getting the evidence back from Westchester. So, cause if we can resolve the case and, you know, and that would right. be a great first episode. So. Wonderful first episode. Uh, if not, you know, we'll present everything and yeah you know, it'll be more of a question mark ending, but, it, but but it but either way it'll be very compelling watching of course yeah. which is what I, my next question to you and i'm sure people have asked you this like okay i as as an actor one of my my dream gigs was i um i was a crime reenactor for a murder mm -hmm. um it was for their lost series the the people disappear and i went down to the actual house where it happened where she and we went to the site, we did everything. And I'm like, oh my God, you have no idea how much I watched the show. And it was, you know, it was, and it was a different mood, obviously, because they need to get the show done. But right when everybody was quiet and I sat down, I just started crying, because I'm like, oh my God, this person lost their life, devastated families, who knows where she would be now, and how do you, and so it's, it's easier for us, you know, you can easily say, I'm a, I'm a fan of mysteries, but how do you, how do you, how are you able to, to categorize that in your head? I mean, I'm sure it really deeply affects you, especially because you, you, you know, the victims. Right. Of course it does. I'm, yeah. I mean, my job is to stay objective about it. Right. Not to be See, sucked in. On I the, would like, not be I, able to be objective. That's at what all. I'm being hired to do. I'm, I'm right. hired. Like the, the, the family, of course, are not objective about it. They can't you know? be. Yeah. So of course they can't be. So that that's why I'm. That's why they're hiring me, and that's right. why I need to. You know, of course you feel for them. I mean that that's the whole point. That's the whole point of the show. Yeah. It's it's that you want those feelings. You want them to be able to express them. So like the closure, of course, allows them to express their ultimate feelings but for me I need to guide them through the system and give them a little guidance because it is overwhelming and there is a lot of bureaucracy and red tape and I need I need to I need to stay focused so that's how I do it I just make sure that I just keep that in mind you know, right. I'm, the, I'm the one that understands this how the how system works and I'm the one that's kind of steering the ship right so yeah you know yeah because I would I would be the type who would who would actually dream about the victim and Sure, really, of course, you know, of course, of course. internalize everything. Of course. Well, I mean, if I was going to, if I was going to act it out, you know, I do, do the reenactments too. Yeah. You know? Oh, you do? Yes. Oh, I, for the show. Of course you do. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm an, I'm an actor too. So, you know, I do. I, I did not know that. I, 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 I do those reenactments myself. You know, that's where nice. you're internalizing it. Okay. You know, and that's where and, it's. And I'm a great corpse. Just, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. But look. We, 
This is good. I hope we can use it for more Method. than carbs. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, you know, because I was just thinking at the very end, even, and I'm bringing up a horrible case, but the, the Casey Anthony case. Right. And when the lawyers were um, like, oh, they're all, you know, high-fiving each other. And I'm like, mm -hmm. how could anybody smile? A kid. A kid is dead. Right. Exactly. And that's, yeah. There's, there's, no, there's no winners. And that, exactly. And I, I think that, that's why I like to see justice, because when you don't have justice, it just, it just kills you. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, right. But even when I you mean, get justice. For when that you get case justice, especially. I mean, a little girl. Exactly. I mean, yeah. even when you get justice, though, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be high-fiving. Exactly. I put someone away. I know. Because they committed a murder. You're like, right, it's, right. There's, it, it's, it, there's nothing. It's yeah. not a football game. You know, it's, yeah. it, it, it doesn't justify high-fiving right. and celebrating. And it's just, it's, that's what's supposed to happen. Right. So. Well, thank you so much for, for doing what you do. Sure. And I will just keep being the, um, the consumer <laughs> the 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 corpse <laughs> no, but you know i mean i will keep watching and i will be cheering you guys on excellent okay one one more time um how do people find your website uh rob paglia.com uh rob s-c-i-g-e-s-q.com rob sig -esque. Okay, and, and do you have any Facebook pages or? Yeah, I'm on f I'm Facebook, <laughs> I'm on Instagram, I'm on okay, uh, uh, so, Twitter. Okay, so, so if so. they're on Facebook, can they put in the search bar Justice Delayed and find you that way too? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Yeah. Justice so Del there's Justice plenty of Delayed ways to find you. We'll have a website very soon. Nice. So we, we you know, it's, uh, it's on IMDb, so you can find it through that too. Perfect. So. Well, thank you so much for coming all the way from Stanford. Thank you. And I'm really, really glad I got a chance to meet you. Oh, are you ready? Oh, you can do it. Just say, just say, yeah, because you're a fellow actor. Go, that's a wrap. Over there. Do, do, do it on my camera. There you go. That's a wrap. <laughs>